Sam Bernardino at the district attorney's office, and I just asked for some public records. They called down three or four district attorneys to see what I was doing. I was asking for public records. I haven't gone through security. I asked for a list of the roster in the San Bernardino District Attorney's Office. I have already been to the Public Defender's Office, the courthouses, and the only people causing trouble this morning are the District Attorney's Office employees and security people who decided that my recording in the lobby was a problem. I am also barring their electricity because I was almost out of battery, and I decided it was time to go live because every time they say that recording in public is a threat or come up with some other excuse because I'm asking for public records, I'm gonna go live. You guys need to see the culture when there is this much effort behind hiding public records, worrying about how things look, and here it was the district attorney's office in San Bernardino County. I wanna show you too, while we're waiting for the records, this nice lady is helping me get the records. This is the district attorney's office. And they're very interested in their Halloween candy and how trick-or-treating went in the lobby yesterday. These are the DAs and the prosecutors. But what was interesting to me was that in this office, this is the older building. There's a new courthouse across the street. I'm gonna show you my cord reaches. But look at this, see that? That's the public defender's office. It's a huge new building in San Bernardino County, the public defender's office. And I was just in Bakersfield and you saw that public defender's office, or you will, but that was a little interesting to me. And then it was interesting to me and I decided that it was time to go live when these security people and DA investigators decided to come down and start talking about my recording in their lobby ahead of the security when I'm asking for public records. I'm wearing a press pass and we know how legally useful those are. I've identified myself and I'm simply trying to get a roster of all the prosecutors in this office. But that apparently warranted to investigators as soon as I turned on my camera. And so when we start being this concerned about cameras going on in public spaces, we have to start asking why that is. Why don't people wanna be recorded? These are public employees, public officials, and they don't wanna be recorded. So I'm waiting. I appreciate all of you here. We got 52 people on. And I always love when you guys come on when I'm asking for public records. Sure, I appreciate it. So we are waiting for the DA. It's probably online, but I can't get it online while I'm also recording. And I just want a list of all the prosecutors in this office, their emails and their phone numbers. I'm gonna start looking up some of their cases, but it was interesting to me that this building is the older building. And also they have the family court in the older building courthouse and the criminal and the civil courts are in the um, newer courthouse, which was interesting. But right on the corner of the courthouse is one of those orders about no recording in the courthouse. Big glass courthouse, no recording in the courthouse. And I just keep being amazed at how much public resources we are spending um, on no recording and keeping the public out. And we're gonna start looking at that. How much is that costing us? Somebody's asking, um, can I request how much money the prosecutor's office gets in extreme risk protection orders? That's a really good question. And I have seen, um, some interesting things related to that. So that's John, didn't, I'm not gonna say it right, but John, I, I'm gonna, I am gonna ask about that. And we're gonna start looking at how much money we're spending when we're not prosecuting public corruption and white collar crime, which does far more harm to the public than these nickel and dime crimes, restraining order violations, court orders. And I talked to a lot of really interesting people today. I talked to a sheriff down here who was guarding the courthouse, and he told me that he uses chat GPT to write his speeches. I thought that was interesting. I got some food recommendations, but I still am getting a lot of flack for getting public records, a simple public record. How many people work for the DA's office and what are their contacts? That should be basic 
Public Records 101. And yet they called two DA investigators on, down as soon as I turned on my camera and started recording the Halloween decorations, the talking about trick-or-treating, the DA with the mandatory mask next to the Halloween signs. Okay, Gregory Fusi. Susan, the courts can withhold video evidence in a case that has no statute of limitations like fraud. And I know because they've denied me the same in court. Look, we're finding a lot of problems with video evidence. And probably when people have other video evidence that would refute what is produced, that's kind of an issue. We're seeing body cams being edited. We know that goes on. We know how bad that is. And so security cameras being edited and used in criminal proceedings concerns me as well. Oh, see that DA right there? I'm just filming them walking in and out of the building, but as soon as they see me doing that, it just makes everybody concerned. We all need to act like we are always being recorded in public. All right, here you go. Uh, we have a public affairs office. Here's the email. Okay. The request, you probably, you might even have more than what you're asking now. I'm going to give this to you so you can okay. have it. But you put in the subject line, CPRA for California Public Workers Act request. Um, one of four people will get it. Um, unfortunately, not everybody's here today, but this is the information I was able to get for you. Okay, I appreciate that. So I just want to share a little information about sure. the public records law. I can do this. And that's a request that I wait 10 days for, and it takes about 14. They can extend it to 14 days, and then they can give me the records. But there's also another part of the California Public Records Law that says I can walk into any public agency subject to the California Public Records Act. The old code was 6253, and I can ask to see records to access them, inspect them, and copy what I want. So right now, all I want is a DA list. It might even be on your website, but I need it in paper. I need a copy of that. Mm -hmm. And so that's what she's getting for me. Did but, she get it for you? Um, she's working on it right now. But, okay, but that's the other half of it. And this is, and I know how to do this because I'm okay. a journalist, but I do want, I want everyone I'm to, to make, I'm learning myself. I'm well, learning. and that's what I want to do. I'm here to educate so mm -hmm. that people don't get upset because I'm turning on my camera. We're uh, live right now on my YouTube channel. 99 people are watching you right now. So okay. 99 people are being educated on public records. That's awesome. And so what is your name? My last name is Showalter. So my, the way that I perceived when you came down was the security called and said, there's a lady recording in the lobby. And I record what I do because I'm a journalist and I want to teach other people. Mm -hmm. So I want to make you guys not as sensitive to cameras as I've been in front of many, and so are I've the been police. On TV, numerous TV channels, uh, my other agency. But. Well, I'm not a reporter that lets you go on camera and decide what you're going to say. Mm -hmm. I'm one that's going to record what you're saying when you're saying it in public, because you're you get a public. The whole truth out there. That's right, and so I want to make sure everyone's educated on the distinction between getting records when I walk in to ask for them mm -hmm. and requesting them in advance. Okay, let me see where they're at with this list for you. Okay, I appreciate it. No problem. So, you guys saw that? 115 of you on when I'm asking for the public records, and we are educating <coughs> public employees on the right of the public to get public records when we walk in, not to be harassed because we're filming why we do it. So, I appreciate all 114 of you doing that. Hey, News Now Fresno, I just want to know, I want you to know, um, I had Camera Joe go up to Fresno the other day because I needed some video of that. If you have any uh, video that you can share with me, I've got a case up there involving, it's the little case, and it's exciting and I want to talk about it, but I do need some video. So if you have any, if you could email me, that would be great. And don't forget, my email is usually in the links on my posted videos, so that would be terrific. And... Hi. And we're using some free electricity for the DA so that we have enough. That's good, my workaround when I don't have enough juice to go live. I'm going to plug into the public agency and go live that way. I'm going to try to read some of your comments while we're doing this. 
Yeah, somebody's asking. They went to Stonewall um, with how to do it online, and that's and what did we do before the internet? You know what? That's a really good point because I've been really upset with how public records have been being handled. They get put behind data walls, and we don't always get all of the records that we should get. And um, so that's kind of an important um, aspect of that. Yes, uh, Parsnip, I appreciate it. Everybody, please hit the thumbs up. We have 118 people watching. Maybe even the DAs are watching upstairs as we give a little public records education. Hi from England. Thanks for being here across the pond. Argentina is watching out of our 105 people now. We lost a few, so hopefully um, we get some back. But I'm going to leave this up live. There's been couple of times I've gone live, I'm going to go live again this afternoon when I am in a, another city. I'm not going to tell you where I'm going, but I'll go live and that'll be a little afternoon. And then this weekend I'll be posting everything that I did for the last few days. Somebody just got a message held for review, so be careful what you post, you guys. These comments are live. Everything we say is a public record, public domain. We're waiting for our records. And at this point, we will wait about five more minutes and then we're going to our next spot, the bump and run. But we really have to get public agencies better about producing public records. We have to get people not upset about recording in public and we have to get our public records because that is the public right to know the business of their government. The DAs are definitely watching who just said that. The DAs are watching and they can hit the thumbs up, the thumbs down and it still helps the algorithm. I've noticed, if you notice on my videos, there's usually lots of views and not as many comments and likes. And that's usually a sign that the DAs, the cops, and everybody's watching. So what's interesting is today, we're not talking about cops. We're talking about other public employees. And the police officers that I've talked to here today have been very helpful. They've given me a lot of information. My favorite was the sheriff in the elevator who told me that he used chat GPT for writing a speech. Hi, Virginia. Hey, Virginia, you guys have John Bryan there and I have to tell you of civil rights lawyers, I love watching that guy every single week. He's- Hi, ma'am, how can we help you? Um, yeah, so um, my nephew had an arraignment yesterday and he hasn't been like appointed a public attorney yet. Um, Hi. Nobody, nobody has access to the list you're asking so, for. So um, is it on we your website? On the, we looked on the <laughs> website and I don't see but, um, anything listing so what's your name. So if you want to address that through the Public, public Records Act folks, the Public Affairs a, Information whatever. I gave you. But I will. They're, I mean, they're, of, they're the attorneys. Um, I mean, you're asking things that are lawyers, kind of above me. Um, I don't even know how this operates. You know more about yeah. this particular law than I do. So I'm not going to try to pretend otherwise. So, I appreciate that. Uh, I would just recommend that you, they're going to give you the official answer that you need and the information that you want. So, Nobody's going to, so you understand this is the most basic. How many people work for the DA's office and what are their contacts and their names? Yeah. And you guys don't have that. So, so when no we leap ahead on more complicated records, that concerns me. Yeah. So I'm a public records advocate. We've got to get these records out. So guess what? You're on my live. Something happened. And let's see, so we're at 133 people we're good. watching, we and and like it's my name's Susan Bassey, and so let's educate some people on public sure, records. No problem. I appreciate you doing this, and whatever you okay. inquire about, I'm hoping you get the answers you're looking for. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. okay. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you guys. Appreciate it. They, they don't seem to have it, but I appreciate the power because it kept me going live. Bye bye. Hey okay, guys, I'm gonna go out now. And I will be back. I'm going to be somewhere else this afternoon. I appreciate you all being here. You heard that the basic, basic, basic record from this DA's office was not available. So for all the employees that work in here, the most basic public right to know who works here, how much we pay them, is not available. So we're going to do some public records, some news gathering, and some other information, and we're going to bring it back. But if these district attorneys and government employees cannot get the most basic records done, we have a problem. So thanks, you guys, for coming in. You always have my back, and I appreciate it. I'll be coming to you from one more city later today, and I appreciate you coming in. Thanks. Bye.